already subscribed, don't forget to press the subscribe button somewhere on your screen because it looks like the Sonic news in halting anytime soon. You are going to want to miss any news updates on the Sonic. So, in order for you to not miss anything, subscribe to Mr. Unleash, why don't you? Anyways, cue the goddamn intro. We're getting warmer now, a lot warmer, to getting an announcement. A big announcement of some sort. Not necessarily for a game, but just for something related to the 30th anniversary. This month could be the month we have finally been waiting for. Who knows? That's right everyone, it's that time once again, where I, Unleash, take a trip to Tails' channel to uncover the latest news relating to a certain blue hedgehog we all know and love. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let us take a look at the news at hand. On to Tales of Channel, we venture. New. Another detail about the hashtag Sonic 30th celebrations was teased in a licensing magazine, a music concert featuring special guests. Hashtag Sonic News. Sonic 30th music concert teased in a licensing magazine. A concert paying homage to the 30 years of the Sonic series is expected to take place in 2021. Ah, uh, yeah. Another bit of information related to Sega's plans to celebrate Sonic the Hedgehog's 30th anniversary was teased in a licensing magazine late last week. Total Licensing, a magazine dedicated to licensing information for multiple franchises and products, had a page devoted to Blue Blur in the latest Australian issue. It talked about the Sonic Prime animation by Wildbrain, the recently greenlit Sonic Mania Lego set, and pieces of merchandise from Jack's Pacific, Peter Alexander, and various other Australian licensees. I will now read out the Australian article. Total Licensing, Australia. 30 years on, Sonic hits his prime. Okay, I've got two questions right here. Isn't that the image comparing the Sonic 4 render and the 30th anniversary logo on Twitter? It is, isn't it? I swear I've seen that somewhere before. I mean, I have no idea why it's on there. I mean, it's not good for advertising or anything. You're just blocking the beautiful logo. Come on, Australia, what are you doing? Sonic hits his prime. Sorry, but um, unfortunately... I don't think this is his best has ever been. Okay, we got the movie. That's one thing, but um, no, no, this is his best has ever been, honestly. Back in the 2000s, that was the best has ever been. Trust me, it was way better getting games and everything. So good, so good. <laughs> Anyways, carrying on. Sega Sonic is a billion dollar franchise and one of the most popular and enduring video game characters of all time. Yes, he is, thank you. Now the franchise is set to reach even greater heights with a new movie sequel, Netflix TV series, video games, ah oh yes, finally, do we get some news? Woo! Toys and merchandise all in the works. Throughout 2021, Sega will be celebrating Sonic's 30th anniversary with new game content, woo, getting warmer, a music concert with special guests and a wide array of new licensing and merchandising partnerships. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie starring Jim Carrey released in February 2020. They also starred um, ben Schwartz, you forgot about that? And James Marsden, you forgot about them too? It's not just Jim Carrey, you know? Okay, let's carry on. And achieved 306 million US dollars at the global box office. The sequel already confirmed to well back onto our screens in April 2022. Sonic Prime, a new 3D animated high octane adventure TV series, is currently in development by the Man of Action Entertainment and Wild Brain. The 24 episode series will release on Netflix sometime in 2022. LEGO Ideas recently announced that the Sonic Mania Green Hill design has been approved for development and will become an official LEGO set. In Australia, the thirst for Sonic the Hedgehog continues at retail. Are you sure it's not just thirst? Because I'm pretty sure it's very hot in Australia. And you guys did have the wildfires last year, so maybe it's a start? Or maybe the Sonic merchandise got burned in the fire. You know what? This is kind of... Yeah, this is kind of... Okay. It's getting too sad now. The Sonic toy range from Jack Pacific, distributed by Head Start into mass retailers and via distribution into independent toy retailers, sold out soon after release. That's good. That's good. Making Sonic more mula. New toys to celebrate the 30th anniversary will be launching in 2021. Brilliant. Kawada's Japan's nanoblock range of Sonic Pixel figurines launched globally in July 2022. To great... I thought that said to great failure then, I got so scared. To great fanfare and quickly sold out. Another great thing. Brilliant. Modosh. 
New stock will be delivered in 2022, and Nanda Block will be releasing new characters later in the year to celebrate the 30th anniversary. Wow, seems like Australia is going to get stocked right now. Rocks on rocks of Sonic merch. Nice. In September 2020, Peter Alexander launched his first Kids vs. Dad sleepwear collection. Kids vs. Dad... What? Alright. Featuring Sonic the Hedgehog and Sega to celebrate Father's Day to the excitement for all Sonic fans. How late is Father's Day in Australia? Jeez, September. Oh. With Australian licensees, including Benson's Trading, Caprice Australia, Omni Merchandising and Universal Candy will be launching range of new products in 2021, including toys, novelties, ungifting, confectionery, and apparel and accessories across multiple retailers. Okay, Sonic's gonna get some food. That's sweet. Okay. In February 2021, Cotton On released a Sonic capsule collection of apparel and accessories in factory stores for the first time. Product includes short and long sleeve tees, socks, and headwear. And here we are, kids versus dads. Who will win? Round one. Fight. Anyways, carry on to Tales from Along. When the magazine mentioned the upcoming plans for the anniversary, the usual promotional notes of new games and events repeated with one notable exception. They discussed a music concert that will feature an unidentified number of special guests. Hmm. Suspicious. Music. Sonic. Special guest. Hmm. A bit sus. Throughout 2021. Sega will be celebrating Sonic's 30th anniversary with new game content, a music concert with special guests and a wide array of new licensing and merchandising partnerships. Aside from the presumption that the concert will be virtual due to COVID-19, that's sad, the magazine gave no further information about the concert or its format. Though it will not be unusual territory for Sega, the Japanese branch Sonic Channel televised a number of online DJ mixes to mark Sonic's anniversary. Did that same thing happen last year? Yeah, the 29th anniversary, they had the, yeah, they had that one hour track of Sonic songs, it was really good honestly. Wow, they had so many good songs on there. I remember that they had Sonic Riders songs on there, Sonic 06 songs, or Sonic Runners on there, that was a big part of that too. I highly recommend you listen to it, it's really good. So one hour though, one hour. Anyways, it's expected that more information will be announced through official Sonic the Hedgehog outlets, namely the official Sonic Twitter account led by the Sonic Studio branch of the United States. However, this is the second time that upcoming anniversary plans were announced through a third party unbeknownst to fans. So that was a lot of information we just got there. Sadly, nothing new relating to the games, which means I've got to do this. <laughs> Why? We just want game news. <laughs> Come on, I know you're crying too. You might not be crying on the outside, but on the inside, yes. Come on, I just cried for you. Okay, before we start, can I just say, this Sonic art is really good. I don't know if it's new, but if it is, damn, that is some good art right there. But anyways, there's something new relating to the 30th anniversary. An event. Finally, something for the 30th anniversary. An event. So, there's apparently a concert going to be taking place for Sonic this year, celebrating Sonic's 30 years, which could be amazing. We could have one long medley of Sonic music, getting music from Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, Sonic 3, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, Sonic 06, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, Sonic Lost World, Sonic Mania, and Sonic Forces. We don't count the boom era, no. All in one non-stop line of playing. That would be awesome. Maybe even doing one with the spin-offs too, since they're also part of Sonic 30 years. Yes, get Riders and the Storybook games in there. Get Sonic Rush in there. Don't stop. Proceed. Because this is what you need. It's what we need too. Sonic Rush Medley, please. They're going to have some special guests at this concert. I think we all know what that means. Crush 40 and Jun Tsunoui. Hell yeah. Give us a medley of Crush 40 songs. Open your heart. Live and learn. What I'm made of. All Hill Shadow. Seven Rings in Hand. Night of the Wind. Green Light Ride. And then end it with Live Life. That'd be my ideal Crush 40 medley. It'd be mwah, amazing. I love Crush 40, man. They are awesome. The best work is definitely in Black Knight, in my opinion. With Night of the Wind, Through the Fire, Fight the Night, With Me, and Live Life. Hands down, some amazing songs. Live Life is so good, man. My favorite Crush 40 song. Black Knight is just underrated overall. This concert could be more than just a concert, though. You never know. It could be part of the 30th anniversary party in the summer. Well, We'd actually know that's happening, but it's obviously going to happen 
right? It's pretty obvious. That's from last year, I think. No, the anniversary before that. Unfortunately, it looks like this concert will be virtual, which is a huge shame. The energy from the crowd at the San Diego party is really what made it so great. For that to be taken away is really disappointing, but it's still happening and safer for everyone, which is great. You better believe I'm going to be streaming it. Apart from the concert, there's just some confirmation of some more merch, like Sonic Mania Lego set, and also the... Pajamas. Well, at least Australia will be getting merch. Radical Soda will be very satisfied at the minimum. Absolute legend, that guy is. Anyways, that's about wraps it for today's video. This concert is bound to be an amazing event for all Sonic fans everywhere. Japan, England, America, Australia. Heck, even the penguins in Antarctica will be jamming to the music. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I can't wait to see what they'll pull off. It will truly be amazing. I know this still isn't game news, but it won't be much longer, Sonic fans. Just hang in there. I want game news too. But if Sega are ready to show us, then we should just accept that and wait. We just need Sega to take time with this one. Or we could get another Sonic boom. And nobody wants that, right? But, Sega, can you please tell us if you need more time? Please? I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially the last one. And I hope to see you next time. Peace.